Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. And Joy Nightingale. And today we've landed right here in the Poconos in the heart of Pennsylvania. Now, we're going to an attraction that when I was a little kid, I always wanted to go to. We used to drive by this, go in a spot we would stay at in the Poconos and never got a chance. Today we are going to Pocono Snake and Animal Farm. You'd be saying, is that a zoo? No, it's more fun than a zoo. It says it on the sign. So you see, Joy and I, we love us some animals. <laughs> so that's why we're going to check it out. Animals. Yes, they're inside. It's snake and animals. So then let's go if they're inside. We are. We're going to go. We're just finishing our opening. So, if you like snakes and animals and all this good stuff we're going to see, you should like this video, subscribe to our channel, comment down below. All the good stuff. Always appreciate it. Ring the bell. You know what I mean. But we can do it. Step right up. Let's go for this ride. Monkey Crossing. Alligator Crossing. This guy is about to hop across the road. And Jim Fowler, Animal Planet's on-air host. We start on the inside going to the right, then we have a whole outside section. But inside we got a bunch of little tortoises. Hello guys, sorry we don't have food for you, but I'm happy you're walking around. You look all happy to see us. Like, look, look, he's curious. He's like, I want to be a superstar. Let me, let me get in front of your camera. We have like a black and white tea, but above it we have a giant clam where they have a pearl open light. But we actually do have some information. It's not just like a random decoration. Oh, one of my favorite animals, a gear monster. Do you think he's a vampire, this python? <laughs> he's a blood python. I love at first, I was like, what's in here? And then you see the giant body going underneath, wrapping around the water bowl, and his head right in front. These are cane toads, marine toads. The cane toad, also known as the giant neotropical toad or marine toad is a large terrestrial true toad. What's funny, it's named marine toad, but it's a terrestrial toad. But look at the size of them. I don't think you could understand. Each one of these toads is probably the size of a football. Those are big. So we have the Nile Manor. We only have to feed bears and monkeys we bought food. We don't have anything to put in his little feeding. I wonder if this day they feed them. But I'm curious, there's a random box here too. At first I thought it might be how they get to him, but it doesn't look connected. I don't know what's... What was that? Oh! It's a blood python. It's a snake. It's a rubber snake to scare me. So, it is the Pocono Snake and Animal Farm. I guess we hit the snake room. This guy's interesting, the European glass lizard. He might look like a snake, but he's actually a legless lizard. Hey, buddy. You had me fooled. I thought you were a snake. And he's actually classified as a lizard because of eyelids, external ears, a notched rather than forked tongue, and a very long tail, which could grow up to four feet long. What did you do today? I went to the Pocono Snake and Animal Farm. What did you see? Snakes. Albino corn snake. The largest venomous snake in the USA. Maybe not this exact one, but this species. This is the Eastern Diamond Bat Rattlesnake. And here we have Timmy. Timmy was rescued from a medical research in Philadelphia when it closed in 1982. And is at least as old or older than Fred next door, at least 50 years old. And Timmy has a special diet, which we're not allowed to feed this monkey. We did buy monkey food, but not for you, Timmy. Hey, Timmy. It's funny, when you look at the fur on this guy, he does look like an old man. You look like an old man. Look at that face. I see his wrinkles. Timmy. The other monkey he met. We have Ollie over here. Also known as Oliver. He's native to Panama and South America, and he's a night monkey. He's trying to get underneath his bed. <laughs> <laughs> and these ones. They say sadly are used for research because they could get malaria. So they test to see treatments for that. If you have arachnophobia, just look away for a few seconds. Don't turn off the video, just look away. 
We have a Mexican tarantula and a bird-eating tarantula. I don't have to worry because I'm not a bird. Chinchilla. He's white. I've mainly only seen them like the silvery gray ones. Mm -hmm. I wish he wouldn't go on his wheel. I've never seen a chinchilla on a wheel before. <laughs> But it does say chichillas are found in a variety of colors. The most common colors are white, black, velvet, beige, ebony, violet, and sapphire. I want to see a sapphire chinchilla. The only color found in nature is standard gray. We were walking around and I saw this cage up here. That's a reticulated python, but I sort of missed the giant alligator pit. Look at that. That's not one alligator. We got a bunch of alligators. We have left that way and are heading towards the petting area. The sloths are doing the normal slothy thing. They're being lazy. I like how you can see there's two different sloths by the colors just cuddling. And now it is time to head outside. But hello. Hello. For these pigs, if we wanted to, they feed from a bottle. We could have got a bottle to feed the pigs. And they've also been training the baby goats to feed from a bottle. <laughs> like what, you talking about me? I'm talking about you, Mr. Baby Goat. Hearing the pigs <laughs> grunt is one of the most awesome things. <laughs> and I, I love, because pigs are so smart, they used to be able to give them bottles, these pot belly pigs. So you hear them all sucking like, like they're begging. You, you guys are begging for the bottle. You are? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Joy, you made a friend. We have Bennett's Wallaby. Staying warm. Staying warm inside. They have indoor and outdoor enclosures, so the Wallaby... There is another Wallaby. But these are Bennett's Wallabies. Where's Lunchbox's Wallabies? Hello, Mr. Trash Panda. I love me a raccoon. They're curious. They're like, what's this thing in your hand? You want to be a superstar on the camera? I love how well they could climb. Look at him, he's reaching out. Oh, it looks like the names of these two raccoons are Missy and Lola. Raccoons are the clown of the animal world. I can see, look at this one. <laughs> Circus star right here, hanging upside down. <laughs> look, look, he's trying to see You want to come say hello again? He's trying to see what's in the box here. Mm -hmm. That's not for you, that's for the monkeys. Are you trying to pretend you're a monkey? Yep. And we have come to the Vernet monkeys. These monkeys adapt to its wide variety of habitats and eat a wide variety. And this monkey looks like it's hungry. <laughs> Do you want to feed a monkey? They said these monkeys are good at paying catch. Good monkey. That was awesome. <laughs> and don't worry, we got a bunch more food for this monkey. I'm curious, what is it like? What is it not like? You ready? You ready? I want one more for you. One more for you, okay? No, 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 I'm giving to your friend. Your friend? Your friend wants one. <laughs> we also have ringtail lemurs here. They look like they just got some food from the bottom of a chute. <laughs> and we have a brown capuchin monkey that is begging wants food. I don't think this one likes broccoli. You see the broccoli over there? <laughs> Ready for a tomato? Oh, you, you like that tomato, <laughs> don't you? He ate the whole thing in his mouth. I see, he ate the whole thing. Joy's already running away with the other food. She's trying to make sure we feed all of them. Even though this guy's like, but, 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 I want a pepper. You didn't give me the pepper. Look at that face, Joy. Could you say no to that face? You better hope that other buddy likes the orange because that's the only thing that we have left after you. <laughs> Joy's going to throw him a pepper. Good catch. All right, now, now run Joy while he's eating his pepper. Nice meeting you. Ready? <laughs>
<laughs> you have to eat it. <laughs> That's what the other guy did with the tomato. Oh, so <laughs> like, Do you want you want an orange? We got an orange for you. You have to put it put down what's in your hand so you can catch the orange. <laughs> like nope. Maybe the other guy wants it. Do you want the orange? Oh, you want the orange. Yeah. You have to pay attention. Like, just well, he's nervous the friend's gonna steal it. Ready? No! <laughs> Ooh! You gotta the balls in there. Yeah! <laughs> Your friend wanted the orange. You're already eating something. You have to learn to share. Mine, 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 all mine. Attention, if you can toss, we can catch. He's juicing that orange. He's eating it though. At least you're not letting it go to waste. You are you are eating the orange. That's great. He's like, I want to see everything that goes on. Like, because down there, I think, is the rest of it. Yeah, we have the whole bobcat enclosure here. This bobcat came up to say hi to us, looking at us up from high. <laughs> We do have another bobcat down below. Oh, and just these bobcats are new. Our new bobcats were donated by a private individual who is moving and not able to take them with him. Audrey is 17 years old and Cody is now eight. They were raised in captivity and are people friendly. Bobcats are indigenous to the Pocono Mountains, but are rarely seen being secretive in nature and nocturnal in lifestyle. So that's why this one's coming up to be near the people. These were raised as domestic cats, even though they are wild animals. So you're people friendly. Look at you, you're like, where are the people? You were like, I was raised in captivity, but I've never seen a monkey before. <laughs> we're actually having African serval. <gasps> African serval. It's meowing. Can you hear it? <laughs> Hey you! <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Nah. Cat's just enjoying its hay, getting cozy. Gonna take maybe a little nap, see? Maybe a, a cat nap? And the last boy we have is my favorite, the black bear. Oh, your name's Blackberry or Pearl? I'm eating the fence. You were like, but I want food. I want food. Ready? <gasps> Look, it's all ready. Look, the beast, the beast. Who wants some bear food? <laughs> crunch, 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 crunch. Ready? No. Look at the nose in there. Black Pearl, Pearl, we got food for you. <laughs> yeah, did you like that? You want more? Okay, we get you more. Come on, Pearl, we got you more. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Ready? More, more food. <laughs> Pearl, we got four more. Okay. Offense. Pearl, I got two more. I'm going to do a challenge. I'm going to do two at once. Can you catch him? Can you? I have faith in you. Oh. No problem. <laughs> That's a good pearl. Yes. Blackberry slash pearl was donated to us at 10 months old in 2001 by a wildlife lecturer who wanted a small family zoo for her. She is Jason's pet and was raised with a timber wolf who passed away in 2014. She's a beautiful bear, but enjoys rubbing against the fence each spring to rid herself of her winter back fur. This makes her lose her black fur from May until late July when her summer coat finally grows in. Oh, wow. <laughs> there you have it, the Pocono Snake and Animal Farm. It is a little small attraction, but it is really cute and really cool. No.
the fact I play catch with monkeys <laughs> and I fed a beautiful black bear, mm -hmm. the day was worth it. Yeah. I think Joy likes seeing the big cats. Or the smaller awesome. of the big cats. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the snakes were in the first room. That little funny jump scare in the box. Oh watching people God. flip out of that. I would paid the admission <laughs> just to watch that. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I think we could call it. I think so. The Pocono Snake and Animal Farm. Been there, done that. Remember folks, safe travels. Goodie. And live life. Pick up right there. Is that a real snake?